Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 5th of october the session will be very interesting so do pay attention till the end let's start with one liners and then we'll proceed to the important current affairs of the day First, we are talking about Jharkhand. Jharkhand became the third state to have food security at least. And these all are current affairs of the September month only. Then government share in total health expenditure has increased. India has launched a joint white paper on urban waste water scenario in India and Denmark. Question can be asked that where was this joint white paper on urban waste water scenario launched? By whom it was launched? It was launched by India and it was uh, in India and Denmark. Then Union Minister Jitendra Singh has launched a Swachta portal. Who launched this Swachta portal? It was launched by Jitendra Singh. Air India has rebranded their, their, themselves to AI and we also know AI also termed as artificial intelligence but here the full form of this AI is Air India and it has been rebranded to AI. Question can be asked that Air India has been rebranded to what? It has been rebranded to AI. Similar to that of that Rajpath has been renamed to what? It has been renamed to Kartavya Path. Election Commission of India has launched BLO e Patrika. India and Madagascar has signed a memorandum of understanding on training of diplomats. Important. Next, Volker Turk has been appointed as the next United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. Peter Albers appointed as the CEO of Indigo. Sanjay Khanna appointed as the CEO of American Express India. Important. Prasad K. Painikar appointed as the chairman of Narayan Energy. Uh, uh, appointed as the chairman of Naryara Energy. Not Narayan, Naryara Energy. Chief Justice Munshivar Bhandari ji has been appointed as the Chairman of Prevention of Money Laundering Act that is PMLA Act. Important take a note. C.B. George appointed as the India's next ambassador to Japan. Next, Neera Chopra who is also known by the name Golden Boy. He is from Haryana. He has won the first Diamond League title. Alright. Then, or can we said, first Indian to win the Diamond League title was Neera Chopra. Sikkim to host Ranji Trophy matches for the first time. And remember Neera Chopra, 
he did not take part in commonwealth games all right and he he used to play or he is a so he is related to which sport event he is related to athletics and athletics to he is related to javelin throw us open 2022 was concluded elcras garcia has won the trophy in the men single title and iga swiatek has won the trophy in the women single title mark this all right it is one of the four grand slams we are talking about here then max verstappen who drives for red bull has won the italian f1 grand prix 2022 he also won emilia romagna grand prix azerbaijan grand prix all right remember that also then australia captain aaron finch has retired from oda that is your one day international cricket robin uthappa has announced retirement from all other forms of indian cricket rachel hines has announced the retirement from international cricket so these are some of the important appointments and retirements that you need to remember so now friends these were your one liners now let's move to the one more thing friends that i need to tell you regarding the content that we provide you say for example we are providing you pocket wise pdf we are providing you topic wise current affairs we are providing you weekly current affairs we are providing you monthly current affairs pdf also top 100 questions pdf so remember pocket wise uh, pocket pdf and your topic wise pdf they will be released on the 7th of every month all right on the 7th then weekly they are provided to you every 7 days all right we make sure that every 7 days you are provided with weekly current affairs for monthly and top 100 questions remember on 10th of every month or before the 10th of every month you will be provided with the monthly current affairs pdf all right friends the important thing that i want to mention here is that we provide content in english as well as in hindi to all the students who are looking for the content of pdf in hindi because i have seen many times the students are asking for hindi pdf the content in hindi so students for those students those who are looking for hindi content you can check our careers cloud application from where you can download the uh, from the google store you can download the app and from that particular application careers cloud application you will be able to see various courses that are offered by us and in those courses we offer you hindi pdf along with english content also all right so the students those who are aiming for hindi content they can definitely check our hindi pdfs also that are provided on the courses that are offered by us on our careers cloud application and another information to all our students and viewers that remember friends when you are preparing for ibps rrb you need to understand that our content that we provide you on our application you will be seeing various different kinds of pd pdfs that will be very beneficial for you for the preparation of this particular exam the content that is provided by us is up to the mark it is top notch content all right when you will be going through the content not just that content if you are also watching our videos and you are then going for the revision in our careers cloud application then you will realize that the process of learning that you are going through first you are watching the video then you are making notes then after that you are going for attempting the quiz also you are reading the pdf that we are providing so this whole process this whole journey will be very beneficial for you and along with the current affairs along with the questions that we are providing for ibps exam are very beneficial to all the students so i'll highly recommend to go and check this exam pdf that will be very 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 beneficial to all the students and i assure you that the material that is provided there is top notch current affairs of the day first news we are talking about ua 2.0 what is this ua that is young upcoming and versatile authors i repeat young upcoming versatile authors this is the full form of ua that you need to remember and it is related to authors so this was a scheme that was launched by prime minister narendra modi's author mentorship program to train the young and budding authors that means in order to mentor young authors this particular scheme ua 2.0 was launched by prime minister narendra modi all right Ministry of Education launched this UA 2.0 Young Upcoming and Versatile Authors Scheme that is which is Prime Minister's Author Mentorship Program to train young and budding and th- authors that are below the age of 30 years in order to promote reading writing and book culture in India 
so it was uva 2.0 it was a part of india at the rate of 75 project that was azadi ka amrit mahotsav and the theme here was democracy institutions events people constitutional values past present and future all right and this scheme will be implemented by national book trust in of india that is under the ministry of education but the coming important point that you need to remember here is uva 2.0 that is young upcoming and versatile authors 2.0 scheme launched by whom launched by prime minister narendra modi for mentoring young authors below the age of 30 second news india's unemployment rate has fallen to 6.43% in september 2022 as per the data released by cmie that is your center for monitoring the indian economy so according to the latest data given by cmi that is your center for monitoring the indian economy india's unemployment rate has decreased significantly to 6.43% in september 2022 owing to increasing labor participation in rural and urban areas according to the data india's unemployment rate has rose to a one year high of 8.3% in as an employment declined by 2 million to 394.6 million people all right the unemployment rate is the percentage of the labor force that is unemployed willing to work and seeking employment actively so this data is released by whom cmi that is your center for monitoring the indian economy and what is the unemployment rate for the september month it is 6.43 all right next here you can see specifically for both the months for august and september and for both urban and rural areas for total for whole of india we saw in september it was 8.28 in september 6.43 and respectively you can see in urban as well as rural areas for different months next next news we are talking about is sbi all right here it is not mentioned sbi has launched gram seva program across six states all right here we are talking about gram seva program all right gram seva program who launched this program it was launched by sbi when was this launched this was launched on the occasion of gandhi jayanti when was your gandhi jayanti it was on 2nd of october and another day celebrated on this day that is your international day of non violence all right so coming back gram seva program launched by sbi on gandhi jayanti and it was it has adopted how many remote villages 30 remote villages has been adopted here across the aspirational districts of states such as haryana gujarat maharashtra punjab tamil nadu and west bengal also remember this adoption was made under the fourth phase of the sbi gram seva program with this the outreach will expand to around 130 villages out of which 75 villages are from the aspirational district that are notified by niti ayo but if we talk about this seva program that you need to remember sbi gram seva a flagship scheme of sbi that was launched under the corporation under the csr that is your corporate social responsibility back in 2017 and here it is for the development of the village by active intervention in areas like education healthcare livelihood and infrastructure all right that means in the areas in the backward areas of the villages where there is no education where the awareness is not created among the people about how they should live how the education should be how the infrastructure should be how what should be the healthcare facilities provided to them so in order to bring all those development under the corporate social responsibility act that of the bank that was in 2017 this particular scheme gram seva program was launched by sbi all right if we talk about sbi dinesh kumar khara is the current chairman where is the headquarter mumbai maharashtra is the headquarter and if we talk about sbi foundation this we are talking about sbi but if we are talking about sbi foundations remember md and ceo will be sanjay prakash ji headquarter will be mumbai maharashtra all right and as of now the program has adopted around 100 villages across 16 states in three phases and already completed five so what you need to remember gram seva program launched by sbi on gandhi jayanti 30 remote villages will 
adopted recently all right highly important that is on 2nd of october it was released here you can see the six states haryana gujarat maharashtra punjab tamil nadu and west bengal among which 30 remote villages will be adopted here moving on to next next is exim bank first of all you should know what is exim bank export and import bank of india all right this is your exim bank also remember exim bank has recently provided a line of credit that is also known by the term loc i repeat exim bank has extended 100 million dollar line of credit for the development projects in maldives in maldives remember recent question will be asked that recently which bank has approved a line of credit worth 100 million dollars for the development projects in maldives so it will be exim bank all right highly important it will be a direct question to that you need to remember that it is your exim bank that had issued loc that is line of credit worth 100 million dollar to the government of the republic of maldives for the purpose of funding development projects on the behalf of government of india basically you can say this is a kind of a loan that is used for the development in certain areas all right projects such as uh, water and sewage sewage then you will be seeing that hani madho airport will be developed under this we have discussed this news recently that a airport will be developed that is hani madho airport in maldives under the line of credit only that will be provided then you will be seeing various fisheries projects will be there road construction projects sports infrastructure will be developed there healthcare facilities will be provided to there all right moving on next sidbi and dun and bread street india has launched sustainability indicator index dedicated to msme i repeat sidbi that is your small and industrial development bank of india sidbi dun and bread street this is an other organization so sidbi and dun and bread street they have signed a mou to create the sidbi dnb sustainability perception index during an event that was held in kombitor tamil nadu this is basically you can say it is a sustainability index that is dedicated to msme sector sidb and dnb also signed an mou for developing and implementing this index it is india's first sustainability index that will be dedicated to msme it is a quarterly survey to provide valuable insights on adoption of environment social and governance framework by assessing the viewpoints of business on different parameters and giving an index of those particular companies all right that are those msmes so remember it was sidbi and dun and bradstreet that has signed this mou if we talk about sidbi when was this established in 1990 who is the chairman and managing director shiva subramanyam raman ji where is the headquarter it is in lucknow up then if we talk about dun and bradstreet who is the managing director avinash gupta and where is the headquarter here mumbai and mumbai maharashtra is the headquarter of this dun and bread street all right so question can be asked that which two organization came together to launch a sustainability index that will be specifically dedicated to msme it will be your sidb and dun and bread street next news next we are talking about nabard that is your national agriculture national bank for agriculture and rural development Nabard has sanctioned 222 crore rupees to augment the infrastructure in the Punjab's rural school. That means we can directly say, in order to provide a better infrastructure to the government schools of Punjab to upgrade the schools in the rural areas of Punjab, Nabard has sanctioned 222 crore rupees for the same. The funding would be used to build 2,328 new classrooms, 762 labs, 648 playgrounds for rural schools across the 23 districts of Punjab. All right, the project will benefit around 3.8 lakh students, including 3.5 lakh new enrollments in over 35,000 villages. All right, here you will be able to see that various physics labs. chemistry labs biology labs computer labs will also be provided under this particular infrastructure so coming back it was nabard that is helping the punjab government to build the schools in the rural areas and for this they have allocated 
222 crore rupees for the same if we talk about nabard nabard was established in 1982 where is the headquarter it is in mumbai maharashtra all right so what you need to remember here it is nabard they provided 222 crore rupees for punjab government so that the rural schools can be developed there or you can say for the development of the rural schools in punjab this amount was presented moving on to next next is icici bank icici bank has launched special account for indian students in united kingdom this is not in uk uh, uttarakhand so don't get confused i repeat icic bank has launched special account for indian students in uk icic bank uk plc a wholly owned subsidiary of icic bank limited launched their first of its kind home vantage current account a new account that is designed specially for indian students traveling to the united kingdom for higher education the new account can created can be created online through icic bank uk i mobile app through an online application form and the creation of the joint account students can visit any of the icic banks all right apart from this remember and after activation of this card the students can active use or can you also use the active internet banking facility and mobile banking facility that is similar to that of a saving accounts in india nearly 118000 students received the student visa at the end of june 2022 which is 89% increase in the visas that was in 2021 all right that means more number of indian students are going abroad for their studies and job perspective if we talk about icici bank sandeep bakshi is the current managing and uh, managing director and chair chief executive officer when was this established icic bank it was established in 1994 and where is the headquarter it is in vadodara gujarat all right friends moving on next news aditya birla health insurance they have launched active fit health insurance policy i repeat aditya birla has launched a or aditya birla health insurance they have launched a active fit health insurance policy you can see here that aditya birla health insurance company limited that is abcl has launched insurance subsidiary of aditya birla capital limited they have launched active fit active fit health insurance policy so abcl that is a subsidiary of abhicl they have launched active fit uh, active fit health insurance policy that is a comprehensive health insurance plan for young and healthy adults this will provide a 10% good health discounts on the basis of the assessment done through the unique facial scan 50% offer on the health returns on the being active for 275 days in a year and 100% on binge refill enables by policy holders to get insurance cover up to the sum assured for any illness or injury all right next next we are talking about HDFC Life has launched a Insure Scandia campaign. I repeat, HDFC Life they have launched. This is a life insurance corporation, so they have launched Insure India campaign. The aim here is on educating the Indians on the benefits of life insurance as a product category. I repeat, who launched this Insure India campaign? It was launched by HDFC Life Insurance, and basically, it is an awareness campaign educating Indians on the benefits of life insurance as a product. The main objective of this is to educate Indians about the insurance and help them and also motivate them to secure their life or secure their future. What is basically life insurance is you pay a premium every month for up to a certain age and then when you are die say example you have a premium paying or you have a insurance plan for 90 years that if before 90 years you die you will be provided with certain amount of money and certain amount of money will be provided to your family. all right and if he lives even one day ahead let's say example he lives for 91 years then those premium will not be of any use you won't be provided with any money so basically basically this is your life insurance so in order to create awareness about life insurance as a product this particular campaign was launched insure india next JSW Cement has secured 400 crore rupees at sustainability linked loan from MUFG Bank. I repeat, JSW Cement. They have raised 400 crore rupees. That will be equivalent to 50 million dollar, 
from MUFG Bank India Limited as its first sustainability in linked loan. It is also MUFG Bank India's first transaction undertaken out of its new IFSC unit branch launched in August 2022 in the GIFT city that is Gujarat International Finance City that is in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. The cement company plans to deploy the funds for the capital expenditure with increasing focus on sustainability. The capital amount will also enable the cement company to achieve 25 million ton per annum capacity by the fiscal year 25. This loan will also form part of the ESG objective that is your environment, social and governance objective. JSW Cement is one of the leading green cement companies of India. Remember that also. Next, India's GDP growth to decline to 5.7% in 2022 as per the data released by UNCT AD. I repeat, UNCT AD, that is your United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, they have released a report that was Trade and Development Report for 2022 named Development Prospectus in a Fractured World, Global Disorder and Regional Responses. This report stated that India's GDP growth rate for 2022 to be 7, 5.7%. All right. They have declined this report, this growth to be 5.7% as compared to 8.2% in 2021. India's growth will further drop to 4.7% in the year 2023 as per the data released during the same report. The key reasons behind this higher financing cost and weaker public expenditure and not just this you will be able to see what are the reasons for this is that there is a breakage in the supply chain in the whole world you will be seeing the war scene that is going on all over the world then you will be seeing energy crisis in Europe then you also can see that one uh, no COVID policy in China that is also affecting and the houses crisis that is going on there. All these are adding to a recession that is coming in the future. But India is standing strong during this, though there will be impact on India due to which we can see the lower GDP growth rates for the years. Next, next is Anish Dayal Singh has taken the charge as the ITVP director general. I repeat. We are talking about Anish Dayal Singh. He's an IPS officer of 1988 batch of Manipur cadre. He was appointed as the 32nd Director General of the Indo-Tibetan Border Police till December 2024. So ITBP, who has been appointed as the new Director General of ITBP, he will be an IPS officer of 1988 batch Manipur of Manipur cadre Anish Dayal Singh. Highly important. He will be succeeding whom? He will be succeeding SL Thousen, who was holding the additional charge of the force. The approval was given by ACC that will be headed by the Prime Minister. So Anish Dayal Singh will be the 32nd Director General of the Indo-Tibetan Border Force that is your ITBP till December 2024. Alright, if we talk about ITBP. Remember, ITBP is primarily tasked to guard around 3,488 km stretch of line of actual control with China. Next news. Next, we are talking about Life Insurance Corporation has increased their stake in Reddy's Laboratories to 7.7%. All right. Their stake in this Dr. Reddy's Laboratory earlier was 5.6%, but now they have increase their stake to 7.7 percent between june 15 2022 and september 30 2022 lic purchased 33 lakh 86 486 shares of drl aggregating to 2.034 percent stake from the open market so now the total earlier they were having 5.65 percent and now they will be having a total of 7.7 percent stake in dr Redis Laboratory. It is your life insurance corporation. Dr. Redis Laboratory is a Hyderabad based Indian multinational pharmaceutical company. All right. It offers various products, services, including active pharmaceutical ingredients, generics, all right, branded generics, then biosimilars and over the counter pharmaceutical products around the world. So LIC will be buying another 2.034 percent stake. Now the total number of amount or total percent of the stake of LIC in Dr. Reddy will be 7.7 percent. 
नेक्स्ट ब्रिटेनिया ब्रिटेनिया हैज एक्वायर्ड 51 परसेंट इक्विटी शेयर इन द कीनिया के बी एल एंड हंड्रेड परसेंट इक्विटी स्टेक इन सी बी बी एल आई रिपीट ब्रिटेनिया एंड एसोसिएट्स प्राइवेट को लिमिटेड दैट इज बाट को होली ऑन सब्सिडरी ऑफ द ब्रिटेनिया इंडस्ट्रीज एंड हैज एक्वायर्ड नाइरोबीज कीनिया बेस्ड लाइबिलिटी फॉर्म कैनाफ्रिक बिस्किट्स और राइट कैनाफ्रिक बिस्किट्स लिमिटेड बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग टू फिफ्टी वन परसेंट ऑफ द इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल ऑफ द Company, all right. So we can say Britannia has acquired 51% equity in Kenya's KBL and 100% equity in the CBBL. Highly important. Take a note of it. Next, next is IEF. IEF, that is your Indian Air Force, has recently inducted the first made in India light combat helicopter at its Jodhpur Air Force Station. Highly important. can you tell me the name of this helicopter that is being you can see in the picture this is your lac that is your lch helicopter light combat helicopter and the name of it will be prachand p r a c h a n d so prachand is the name of this helicopter as you can see him in the, uh, them in the picture they are light combat helicopter and they are first made in india lch helicopter highly important friends all right you need to remember that so if we talk about them indian air force inducted the first indigenously developed multi role light combat helicopter that is your lch that was named prachand into its 143 helicopter unit at the jodhpur air force station in rajasthan these lch are limited production series of 10 choppers for indian air force as of now four have been delivered and inducted and the rest will be delivered by the end of 2022 all right highly important then if we talk about hall hindustan aeronautics limited who is the which is the organization that is developing this so it prachand is developed by hindustan aeronautics limited in collaboration with safron safron is a french engine maker but remember this prachand what is this prachand it is the first indigenously developed or you can say first made in india uh, light combat helicopter by the name prachand developed by hindustan aeronautics limited next next we are talking about isro isro has recently confirmed the confirmed the news of the mom that was your what was mom mars orbiter mission all right recently mars orbiter mission has lost the communication due to long ellipse all right also it is stated that it is non recoverable as it will run out of the power so on october 3rd the isro has confirmed that mars orbiter mission that is mom commonly referred to as mangalyaan mission has come to an end as it has lost communication with the ground station due to a long eclipse that happened in april 2022 and it is a non recoverable as it will be running out of its power if we talk about mom remember this was launched on 5th of november in the year 2013 mom this is a space probe that was launched by isro for studying the surface of mars and also studying the atmosphere of mars that what are the composition of the gases in the atmosphere of mars the secondary objective of this mom was to explore the martian surface features mineralogy also the atmosphere using the indigenous scientific instrument also remember that was india's first indigenously built interplanetary mission that was inserted into the martian orbit in 2022 then if we talk it was launched in 2013 that means we can say mom has roughly completed 8 years of fix or uh, 8 years of its work all right so coming back mom that is your mars uh, mom that is your mars orbiter mission commonly referred to as mangalyaan mission has now been disk uh, has now been confirmed as it is a non recoverable after a long ellipse and it will be running out of its power then next so question can be asked that mom is related to which space organization it is of isro but if i ask you didymos what was didymos if you remember it was related to dart mission dart mission was that nasa will be sending their uh, satellite and crashing into an asteroid and what was the name of name of that asteroid it was didymos next national wildlife week from 2nd to 8th of october we observe national wildlife week this is the 68th edition of the national wildlife week 
and the campaign was organized to spread awareness about the flora and fauna and to encourage people to save the wildlife the main objective here is to create the awareness of protection and conservation of wildlife to make people aware of the importance of wildlife conservation set up additional services to protect wildlife and discuss all issues related to the protection and conservation of the wildlife next is world animal day on 4th of october we observe world animal day across the globe to create awareness about the improving animal welfare standards across the world here you can see the theme of the world animal day is shared planet remember this next world space week from 4th to 10th of october we will be observing world space week highly important this is to uh, this is celebrated to contribute to or to create awareness about the contribution of space and technology to the betterment of the human condition then you need to know the theme that is space and sustainability is the theme of the world space week that will be observed from 4th to 10th of october all right next next is himachal pradesh chief minister jairam thakur ji has launched a satya nishtha application to aid police so who is the chief minister of himachal pradesh jairam thakur what did they launch satya nishtha that is a mobile application that will be helping the police or and when were this launched when was this launched or where was this launched this was launched in dharamshala himachal pradesh so satya nishtha that is a mobile application that will be providing help to the police of himachal pradesh this particular mobile application was launched by jairam thakur the app was developed by kangra police under the guidance of kushal sharma the kangra superintendent of police to help investigate and control criminal activities then remember this satya nishtha application has been brought out at a cost of just 3.7 lakh rupees this satya nishtha app is the first of its kind in himachal pradesh and is exclusively created for crime control with the help of this police or with the help of this application police can prepare a database of criminals involved in various crimes and could study the various offenses that take place under the different police stations in the district so that's all for the day for today friends now let's quickly revise all the current affairs you are 2.0 this was launched by minister of education and it was a pm scheme for mentoring young authors india's employment rate fall to 6.43% in september as per cmie sbi has adopted 30 remote villages across six states under gram seva program exim bank has extended 100 million dollar line of credit to maldives for development projects sidbi and dun and bread street india launched sidbi dun and bread sustainability index dedicated to msme then nabard has sanctioned 222 crore rupees to augment the infrastructure in the punjab rural schools icic bank uk plc has launched special account for indian students in uk aditya birla has launched active fit health insurance policy for young and healthy adults hdfc life has launched insure india campaign jsw cement has secured 400 crore rupees sustainability linked loan from mufg bank India's GDP growth rate to decline to 5.7% in 2022 as per the data released by UNCTAD. Anish Dyal Singh appointed as the 32nd ITBP Director General. LIC has increased their stake in the Dr Reddy's laboratory to 7.7%. Britannia has acquired 51% equity share in Kenya's KBL and 100% equity stake in CBBL. Prachand it is the name of the LCH helicopter the first made in India LCH helicopter at its Jodhpur Air Force station ISRO has confirmed the end of the mom that is your mars orbiter craft non recoverable all right wildlife week will be observed from 2nd to 8th of october world animal day on 4th of october world space week from 4th to 10th of october then is your himachal pradesh chief minister jairam thakur they have launched a satya Nishtha mobile application to help the police of Himachal Pradesh. So that's all for the day, friends. Let's go to your homework section now. First is what is the name of the first indigenously developed light combat helicopter we just did, and this was developed by whom? Tell me that also. Second, which union ministry is associated with Yuva 2.0 scheme? Third, Swachh Bharat Divas is celebrated on which date in India? 
फोर्थ वॉट इज द मिनिमम नेटवर्थ ऑफ आर आर बीज टू बी एलिजिबल टू लिस्ट ऑन स्टॉक एक्सचेंजेस विच स्टेट हैज वन द फर्स्ट प्राइज अंडर द लार्ज स्टेट्स कैटेगरी अंडर स्वच्छ सर्वेक्षण ग्रामीण ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो दीज आर योर फाइव होमवर्क क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स नो चीटिंग एंड इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग एनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज जस्ट रिसर्च अबाउट इट ऑल राइट सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू एंड हैव ए नाइस डे That's all for the day friends I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue